Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I want to talk about something that is also very very important. When you want to travel to any country, aside from you having money to obtain your visa, to get your passports and to do other things, there are still some other things that we might not consider important but that are very important to know if you know that you want to travel outside your country to work or do other things so the first thing I want to talk about today is not just um, about um, the language like I have done in my previous post like getting passport like I have done in my previous post or various mystery which you can come but today is very very important the thing I want to talk about sometimes people have access and everything to travel to another country but they are finding it difficult to to land to travel let me just say to travel into those countries and live successfully there the first thing i want to talk about is that um adjusting is very important but when you don't have some of this um like, uh, what do i call it now some of these qualities you might find it difficult to adjust the first one is that um, those who are computer illiterate they find it very difficult to adjust abroad. What I mean is this. You don't know anything about computer. Even the phone we have in our hand is just to watch Facebook, call, receive text messages, and probably maybe only WhatsApp, voice notes, or something. Those kind of people find it very difficult to adjust in Western countries like us uk australia canada and other countries like that let me tell you this it must be computer friendly if you want to travel out or you plan to travel out of your country there are so many apps when i mean computer friendly i'm not saying laptop i'm not saying desktop monitor and computer i'm not saying all those big 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 gadgets your phone is a, is a computer, is a mini computer itself because everything you can do on, many things you can do on laptop, many things you can do on desktop, you can do it on your phone. They have made the phone compatible. So when I'm talking about computer here, let's imagine that it is our phone and other gadgets. But let's talk about the illiteracy part. You can only use your phone for many, many things i mentioned the other time but not for some of these key integral things i would like i said illiteracy computer illiteracy is a major problem for people who are not knowledgeable about few things or let me say that are not tech savvy so you must have a knowledge of functional computer functional computer system why Many applications here, we use computer. We use our phone. We use computer on our phone for many applications. And it is those applications that we use from day to day. It is those applications we use from day to day. Everything, almost everything is on computer. So you that are not computer literate, I don't know how you're going to survive. So, for example, now you want to know the weather for today. You want to know the weather for today. Maybe it's going to be snowy or sunny or raining so that you know how to prepare yourself, your children for the day. You are going out, you come back in some hours, you want to know if to carry umbrella along, if to carry your raincoat, if not to carry it, if to wear winter jacket, if not to wear it, if it's going to be sunny so that you dress lightly and the likes. You need weather apps, weather apps on your phone, which will tell you from time to time. It will tell you from time to time what the weather is about and is actually a forecast. You need to be computer literate. So those who are computer illiterate have difficulties adjusting. Another one is bus. In some country, train. Everything, their application is on the phone. They have their apps that you go and download on Play Store. And you have to start following it and everything. And you don't even know anything about this. Moreover, Maybe you even downloaded it and then they, 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 they just showed you type from to which route and everything. And you cannot read it. You cannot understand it. It's a major problem. 
So if you don't know how many trips, connecting bus, connecting train, this is the place where you will stop and then you take another train at this time, you know, and all those stops, it could be very, very, very difficult to adjust. Okay? Another thing is so many gadgets here. So many gadgets are computerized, they are automated. You have your cooker, you have your um, washing machine, you have your dishwasher, you have your, let's assume blender is even very simple to use, you know, some are not simple to use. You have so many doors, company doors, big, big doors, offices doors and other things, and then they are computerized. Even some cars, many cars, they are automated, and then you don't know how to even open or close some of these gadgets. It's another major challenge. There are some jobs, maybe cleaner jobs, maybe um, security jobs, maybe um, um, attendance, food jobs, cleaning jobs or anything, dishwashing and all those stores and restaurants. You need gadgets. You clock in, you will clock out when you enter work, when you are leaving work. Some you even clock in every one hour that you are still at work and you don't know how to do it. You just say, please, I want to come abroad. And you come abroad, they, they, they fire you because they feel that you are inefficient. Not knowing that it's just because you don't have the basic knowledge of it. You must train yourself at least to have one or two knowledge of um, computer. You must not be computer literate. No matter your age at this time and you have the intention of traveling abroad, true, true, you must be more knowledgeable about computing, computer. So if you don't know how to use computer before, you can still go and learn one or two things about it. I'm saying the computer can be those gadgets can be on your phone, a replica of it on your phone. So you don't need to go to a computer center and start saying that you want to start learning a desktop publishing like we did. In those days, when I finished secondary school. Not that, on your phone. Most of us, we just watch um, Facebook and we just laugh. We don't watch things at, that are informative. Just like this video now. Many people don't watch my videos because it's not something that you just laugh and it's not comedy and it's not entertainment. Information. Right information. I would give you right information. So if you have not um, followed my page, please try and follow my page. I also have a, a, a YouTube account at Stelimandi. Follow it. Share it so that people can be knowledgeable about it. Ask me questions. Make comments. I am available to answer you. I give out information that are very, very important. I give guidance when you need it. As well, I am not a recruitment agent. I'm not a um, traveling or immigration agent. I'm only giving information as it comes. So what I'm saying in essence is that you don't need somebody to teach you how to use all these gadgets. Your phone is there. You can learn many things. Ask me questions on how to go about learning this, learning that, basics of it. So what I'm saying is that you won't have a difficult time when you learn some of these things if you go abroad. You know, there's somebody that on his ticket, he had to travel to through Istanbul to London, connecting flights, and imagine, he didn't even know what gate 8B is. He don't even know what is even in his ticket. So, as big as the airports are, imagine, what does this person expect? What does this person expect? To be asking people questions that, please, where is the next flight? When nobody even cares, everybody is going on their own too running for their or preparing for their life so he missed the flight and if he missed the flight the other connecting flight also he has been missed has been missed so ignorance is not an excuse as they say in the court of law we must be knowledgeable about this once you have been given tickets as in you've bought a ticket or even visa everything read it very well and understand once they say you go to do something something get something something you start looking for it you start looking for it. You can even ask officials questions if they are available. You look for that gate and then you stay there. And you identify it as gate, something that is being written. Before you can say, yes, this is where I'll be boarding. And then you stay there. Once your money is gone, your money is gone. You know, imagine the stress, imagine the frustration, imagine extra money. Imagine the time, everything is wasted. Once a flight is missed or once a bus or a train or anything is missed, and it's connecting, it affects the other. You know, that's just it. So what I'm saying in essence is that you must be knowledgeable, you must be able to read, you must be able to read, and then you should be able to understand basics. The next one I want to talk about is Google Map. You know, from where I come from, some of these gadgets are not 
we don't really use them except on few occasions so you have to start learning how google map works sometimes google map you know when i first came here it was so confusing to me because um, i'm not a fan of geography but i've learned i've heard i've watched videos about people on preparing people for abroad so i try to familiarize myself with it but at some point you won't even know where the north is where you are standing the map is showing north west east and south if you remember in geography and you don't really know if you are facing the north you're facing the south or something and then you start going back to where you are coming from you start going back to and you'll be going back and forth back and forth and then you are confused you don't even know where exactly to stay same thing happened to to buses as well same thing happens to buses north south and then the map is there but then you're not sure you're just you know i know somebody that you know they say go east this way and then the person was actually back in the east which was actually um going west and the person was just walking he has worked for a while everything is confused i said and then he was fortunate to meet somebody that was uh, urban niger you know that kind of a thing and the person said ah you have missed your way these are these are you will use the app you know and the likes as it is before you find your way back to your house where you are coming from and you're supposed to go somewhere for interview or something it's better you befriend google maps and other bus apps as it is don't forget if you miss your um, bus or your train or your flight it will affect the other one sometimes it might even be that you have missed the trip or you go late to where you are going and opportunity that you're actually looking for you might not get it again another thing like i said don't just use your phone to watch films films are very good but information is important education is important in as much as entertainment is also important you can search anything on google i posted uh, uh, i made a post on my um, personal account on facebook on doing um, a name search a name research and um, maybe two or three people responded and uh, many people did not respond on google how to use google search to identify maybe you are internationally recognized so people don't even know what google is because of google search or how to use it and you want to travel abroad it might be very very difficult even if it is not impossible it might be very very difficult so you can search jobs near me shops near me where i can buy something near me free whatever whatever things near me groups near me that are closer to your environment once your location is on or it asks you to enter your present location and you enter it or once the gadget is able to detect your location it will show you details of those things near me so if you want to buy something you cannot be going out and say mama ferata or um where can i buy this and that and who would even who would, who would you even want to ask questions from who is even ready to, to to attend to you so nobody the, the phone is there for you the internet is there for you to to ask anything so you have to make internet your friend not just internet google and those apps your friends don't just spend a lot of time reading people's comments and um, laughing and enjoying things on the phone make it an habit to also learn things that would help you if you know that you want to travel so there's no way you'll be asking questions even the person you want to greet self you want person want to ask questions to say you're trying to greet the person doesn't even answer you the person doesn't even know you exist you know it's not like nigeria or way back home you know it's a difference in entirely so there's no really body you can be asking questions so you need to make research research and research your friend some people are falling into hands of scammers all because they cannot make research so maybe they've asked them type this press this because they cannot make research so maybe they have robbed them of their money or because they cannot make research if this company is real if this scam has been existing before with this same name and the same people the same format and the lines go to google g-o-o-g-l-e make it your friend i am not i am not uh, an ambassador for google but it's just um, a search engine that i have used and many of us have used which is popular not only google we have other ones we have bing you know we have um, edge and other stuff like that as it is on google so you get information of the things you need around you um so you need to do research every time every day every time every day on everything 
Another thing is that this set of people might also find adjusting difficult or settling down difficult when you are abroad. You know that you are traveling abroad, you have to work on yourself. You have to work on yourself. You know, if your, do I call it ego, is too much, you cannot survive in the Western country. You have to be diplomatic, even in your tones, in your voice, in your words. Any little thing, you must be sure, you must be ready to say, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. You know, please, and then thank you. Oh, thank you. You know, those are the key words, some of those words over and over again that will be expected of you on your daily living. So, um, when people just send information to you, don't just take it hook, line, and sinker. Like the lazy Nigerian youths, for example. We are not lazy. But don't just take it hook, line, and sinker. Make extra research to know if this thing real. Is it true? Is this the process? I have, say, I, I have uploaded so many videos. I've made some posts that you are supposed to just click on this link and get information about scholarship, about free PhD, free master's, free degree and other stuff like that. And then people will not click on the link and they will come under the comment section to say, I am interested. I am interested. Interested in what? Did I ask of your interest? Read it and follow it, you know, thoroughly. Some will come to my inbox and start saying, please help me. I'm also interested. Interested in what? Everything is clear, expressly stated in that post, but you will not click it. You will not, you will not watch uh, my, my, my videos to the end. You only see the title and then start saying, I'm interested. No, it cannot work like that if you want to travel abroad. You must verify every information, the nitty gritty of it, the full details, and then you will check yourself. I say, um, um, Government of Canada website, I've even put it on some of my videos. People will not still go there. Some links I'll send it to some people, they'll still be asking me questions. So what do you advise I do? Advice on what? So, no ready-made information, my dear. You find out the information yourself. If not, people will be scamming you. And then, even if your intentions eventually become fruitful, you must have you must hate yourself after many years when you go back and look at yourself and see that well i i made a mess i wouldn't have toiled or, or, or spent a lot or done a lot of things that people did for me i would have just done it easier and and better yeah before i go on to talk about email either gmail yahoo mail hotmail i don't know if it still exists and other mail you don't know how to operate email accounts is a problem you will not be going to shops or offices and say, please, is there vacancy? I want to work. Even if it is a cleaning job. Even if it is a nanny job. Even if it is a, a what, driver job. Any job it is. Not just office job. You apply through email. Even if it is a farm worker. You know farm worker, farmer. You apply on, through your email. So an email address that will be given to you while you are seeking for that job. Now, you don't even have any email account. Even those who have, maybe they opened it for them because of Facebook that time that it was not accepting phone number. You don't even have the password or access to it. Those who have access to it, you don't even know how to check it or send message. You don't know how to compose message there. You don't know how to read messages there. You don't know how to even attach documents. It will be very, very difficult because everything is letter, email, letter, email. So, you must know how to respond. You must know how to write, you know, and the likes. So like I said, you write emails to people when you are looking for a job. You don't go to the offices and be knocking and be stopping. The whole essence of this video is that if you know you have the vision, the goal, the dream, the aspiration to travel abroad, whichever of the abroad, improve on yourself. Nobody will do it for you. Improve on yourself. Work on yourself. If you belong to this group or any of this group, like I say, no knowledge is a waste. No knowledge is a waste. And all those things, you can do it yourself. And when you put your heart to it, your dreams will come true. Your dreams of relocating abroad, wherever country it is, will come true. If you put your mind to it and you improve yourself to be fit for those positions. If you have any question, feel free to ask me. Share this message to everybody that you think will need it. Have one prospect or the other to travel abroad. And you yourself... You can share it to as many places on your social media and then you read it every time, you watch it every time and then you 
you can pause it and do one or two things and if you have any question you are very free to ask me any question